This guy makes a freaking killer margarita. I do. Awesome margaritas. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I'm Corbin and this is Rick. And now I want a margarita. Me too. Mmm. It's 9 a.m. somewhere. <laughs> um, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. With salt around the rim. Mm. Unless you're Harel Oseroth, then you put sugar on it. Um, <laughs> Were you checking on the margaritas? I was. Yeah. Uh, but this one is called Margarita with a Straw. This has been requested a lot. Long time. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Um... I'd assume it's about margaritas, but I could be totally wrong. You know what I think it's about? But I do believe it has somebody we know in it. <gasps> Who? Um, what's her face from Gully Boy? What's her face? White chick with teeth. Oh, for a split second I thought you were referring to Alia. No. What's her face? No. Oh. Uh, the other, the girl that, who, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but we've seen and loved and like everything yeah. we've seen her in. I think she's in this. Cool! Yeah, so. Yeah, it is. That's her. This? Yeah, Kalki. Kalki? Yep. Okay, cool. Well, let's see how it is. In love with it already. She's next level, had no idea. Was not expecting this. <laughs> Listen, would you like me to assign a writer to you? Um, in fact, I've already talked to somebody. Uh, I think I'm sorry, what did you say? And that, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Freaking so in. I'm so freaking in. I was not expecting that. Not in the least, man. In the slightest. Not in the least. San Francisco. Is India's National Film, Film Awards. Yeah. I saw some Cannes mentions and Sundance mentions. Okay. Uh, in the trailer. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm blown away. Right totally now. blown away. Gotta see this ASAP. Yeah. It, I do have a question. Is she white? Or is she just, like, because <laughs> she doesn't look Indian at all. Oh, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. yeah no, I, 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 obviously, I think she's, she she's, I, I can't tell from her appearance what her ethnicity is. She's yeah. extremely, 
Um, I could make some guesses, but I'm sure you'd be way off. Yeah. Hold on. Go ahead. A rebellious young woman with cerebral palsy leaves her home in India to study in New York, unexpectedly falls in love, and embarks on an exhilarating journey of self-discovery. And that's what the trailer looked like. Exactly what the trailer was showing us. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm still thinking about the trailer. I yeah. know. She... Okay. Our first exposure to her was in Gully Boy. Yeah. And knew immediately that she was a good actor yeah, because yeah, she's she, so good. She's a great she, listener. That was... You know what came to mind immediately? Watching her in the opening. What? My left foot. Because uh, for yeah. me, the best... She had um, cerebral palsy. Right? Yeah, which the best the best performance I've ever seen of someone presenting someone uh, with... And I, I don't... For, from trying to remember all of the details. <coughs> what, Excuse me. Uh, um, that character had. had a true story. And I'm forgetting his name. I, Danny Douglas. No, no. The person he plays is a true story. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. Brown, anyway. Uh is his embodiment of that character, mm -hmm. which was incredibly difficult to portray. But she just next level. Got to see it. Yeah. Um, is she is this like her crowning performance? Uh, obviously, we've only seen her in Gully Boy. Yeah. But we've seen her in a couple other trailers. A couple other trailers, and, and uh, I think there was one other thing that we saw her in. I don't remember if it was. There's something else that she was in. She had a small role. I thought. I think it was a trailer. Could be. But anyway, um, I want to know more about her background personally. I want to know her training. Yeah, where she's from. Yep, if she has a theater background, where she studied. Um, I want to know a lot more about this actor. Yeah, because I really like her a lot. She was in Deborah, at that, so we saw her in that trailer. In that trailer. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. TV. No, we haven't seen oh, TV. Well, I, I didn't. I liked it. She didn't appear in a, The Sacred Games? She was in the Sacred Games. And you went through, you didn't see anything in her film no. trip? Wow. We, we've only seen her in those two, honestly. Huh. It was the Deborah, and then the, uh, we should probably actually learn how to pronounce that. Yeah. Film title. Probably so. Zindagi Namalagi Dabra. That's the one we're talking about. Yeah. Um, but she looks awesome. Her uh, physicality, she clearly lost weight. Um, she's with CAA, or CAA Kwan. So maybe well, it's that's a, not a surprise. Maybe it's a different right. It's branch a branch of creative theater. artists. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm quite interested because French parents. That she looks her facial. I would guess that, but because she does so many Indian films and speaks Hindi, so is she adopted in this film because she has Indian parents. Her parents that then came, had to come to India as hippies in the 1970s. That's cool, and huh. settled there and fell in love with the country. Dope. That's very cool. So she she was there okay. grew up there so she's french genetically gotcha indian by nationality gotcha yeah she's she's awesome i um, love her so please let us know how this film is i hope it's phenomenal if it's as good as the trailer it's going to probably be one of our favorite films yeah. we've seen this is that trailer was this is our type of charts film. oh man it looks like it's all about her a, a really intimate performance mm -hmm. um really I, I'm just kind of almost blown away by the subject matter India chooses to um, portray because mm -hmm. we don't. It, yeah, let, autism, um, Asperger's. Yep. Uh, now, um, what is it called that we just saw? Cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy, as, as the main character in a film. Yep. Almost never happens. Right. You might get it as a, a side character, a right. brother or something. Right, but not as the, not as the primary point. Of the story, you very rarely get it. Yeah, and uh, the subject matter. Like I remember being shocked when we watched Pink, which was a couple of years predating the whole Me Too movement. Oh yeah. And guys, we just on and on can't tell you how much we want people to know. <sighs> get get emotional thinking about it. That you're not a freaking third world country, man. In in any way, shape, or form, that you guys in your artistry are so cutting edge and right on the cusp of creative brilliance and this looks like just another one of those that we'll see and just be floored and say why the heck don't we know about these films and this actress and this actress because what i just saw in that trailer looks like it could be on the level of the stuff see every award season here in the u.s when the fall rolls around we are like rolling up our sleeves getting ready to watch the, the stuff that's going to be part of the awards conversation for the trifecta of the globes the sags and the oscars this looks like something that should have been in the conversation Especially with all the ribbons from the different film festivals. Yeah. Came out. Even as a foreign film. I mean, 
why, why are we first hearing about this if it's as good? And they've been going nuts saying, you've got to react to this, you've got to react yeah, to this. This has been a uh, uh, requested... From 2014. A couple years ago. Five freaking years ago. Hmm. I do hope it's good. Me too. It's, that was a good trailer. Right? I'm quite excited. So yeah. Please let us know how it is, if it's worth a watch. I hope it is. I'll be very sad if it's not. <laughs>